Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. The topic for today's video is to be able to capture some information from a user, store that said information and then be able to do something with it. So the example we're going to look at today is working with an input box. So we'll run our code. This will then generate an input box will come up on the screen for us or any other user working with the code where they can input some data and then we can then do something with it and we'll be pasting that information into our spreadsheet. Uh, so it sounds a lot more complicated than it is, um, but in theory it is actually a really small piece of code uh, and obviously the benefits of using this along with a, a larger process would obviously be very useful indeed. So the first thing we've done is obviously we've got Excel open, you can see the spreadsheet on the right hand side here, and we've done Alt F11 to get up the coding panel on the left. So the first thing we'll do is create our subroutine, so let's call this uh, sub, uh, user underscore info and do our open and close brackets and let's go down. So we're about to capture information using something called an input box within our code and what will happen is the input box will uh, pop up as part of us defining and storing uh, a variable's value. So we'll first create a variable and we'll just do like a stick with good practice by actually defining what this is. So we're going to find that as a string. So let's say user information as string because we want to gather some text. And then we obviously then now want to set the value for this user information. So user information. And you can by all means call your variable something a lot shorter. Uh, I've gone and made it harder and made myself do a lot of typing. So what we're going to do is go user information and it equals. And often in previous examples, we've done something like this by saying, I don't know, if we put Ben, uh, someone's name, and that is with how we would define that value in that variable. But because we want the user to actually be able to input different information, what we're going to simply do here is go uh, input box. So a nice easy one to remember because you want to gather some input from the user. Open brackets. And then all we need to worry about here is this first part, which is the prompt. And this is simply going to be some text that's going to instruct the user what you want to do. So let's put in, um, tell me something. Simple as that, close brackets. Obviously, you could put a bit more descriptive question in here, like uh, tell me your name. Uh, let's, let's actually change that. That would make a lot more sense there. Uh, tell me your name with a question mark. And then we can obviously come at the end here. Let's just move these up. So we've defined what our variable is. So it's a string, it's going to be a piece of text. And this is the variable, and obviously it equals to the value that is gathered from this input box. The next and last thing we then want to do is we want to do something with that data. Uh, and simply all we're going to do is paste it here into cell one or cell one of column A in our Excel worksheet. To do that, and we've touched this a couple of times, very simply, we can do equals sheet, or not equal, but sheets, sheet one. So obviously we're referring to that actual sheet we're using. And we're then going to reference the cell. So we'll do cells, and it's going to be row one, column one, in brackets. And the value of that is equal to uh, user underscore information. So that is all of the code that we need to work this input box. And again, we did go through it, but just to recap, so we're defining here first what that variable is. So it's a string, a piece of text. This is the variable name, as you can see there, user information, and that is equal to the value that is gathered with our input box. Once that's been stored, all we're then going to do is ask our code to go to this cell, so the first one here in the first column, and simply just that value of that cell is going to equal to this variable. What we'll do is just go a bit one more further and tie in something else we've previously learned. Let's insert a button. So we'll go to our developer tab and go into insert and then this top left one here button. We've got a crosshair here and let's do a button there. And we can see we've got our range of subroutines available to us. So it's going to select user info. And let's go change this text and go um, gather info. And again, you can by all means be a lot more descriptive in what your in your naming conventions, but hopefully this does the purpose for this video. So you can even run this code from obviously the pane on the left here by either pushing the run button here, the play button, or hitting F5. But for us, what we're going to just do is use this button here. So once you click that button, 
you can see it's going to run the code so it's first defined as a string and it's now going to set this variable and this is where it now wants the input box uh, obviously us to put a value into that input box. So you can see our piece of text here of tell me your name is what you'll see in this pop-up box. All we need to then go into here and do is type in Paul or any other name that you see fit, select OK and you can see Paul has now been added into that cell's value. If we're to run this again, because we're always referring to this same cell here as being the one that's um, populated, you'll just get your value will be overwrite, overwritten at this point. So if you go into here now and let's put in someone like uh, Jake, if I spell it correctly, Jake, you can see it's going to go into there. And lastly, if we do another one, uh, let's do Claire, you can see again, it will overwrite that value currently previ or previously stored in that cell. So that's how you can simply or really simply get this input box from whoever's using or running the code. And it uses this really straightforward, simply three lines of text or three lines of code, should I say, in order to achieve that as well. Uh, I think I mentioned at the beginning of the video, but obviously it seems quite basic and standalone on its own. But as you can appreciate, as we start developing more um, in-depth and detailed processes, I'm sure you can probably start seeing the benefits of being able to gather various information from a user who's populating this. So I hope you enjoyed that video and if you did please don't forget to give the video a like. If you're new to the channel or you have previously seen some of our videos and you're still not subscribed yet please do hit that subscribe button and also make sure you hit that bell notification button uh, that way you'll be notified of all of our new videos especially these really important ones as we start to build out this uh, playlist and series on VBA. Uh, oh, and one more thing, if you do have any more questions or want to get in contact, simply just drop a comment below this video and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much and we'll see you in the next video.